So I hope you can excuse this video being filmed on a cell phone, at a tiny desk, in a tiny hotel room, but I had some problems happen out on the road and uh, I want to do it today while I remember, instead of when I get home and forget about it and only think about doing it in another year when I have to do this again. So. The bike didn't detect that I've got a key fob there, so I've needed to remember my pin, update it into the machine, and get the bike going that way. And now I've got to get a battery switched inside the key fob. So, how do we do that? Nothing that I could see online on YouTube for suggestions, and no manual with me, I'm 100 miles from home. Fortunately, I managed to find a manual on the Ducati website, and I've been able to uh, do this. So uh, here's a quick run through. Here's the key for an X Diavel or an X Diavel S. So if you take off all the bits and pieces but retain a split ring on the end, that makes life a lot easier. Because having looked at videos for the Diavel, it's not quite the same. You don't need to stick a screwdriver or a coin in here anywhere. You're not going to damage your key doing this. All you need to do to make life easy, flick the key out, then stick one finger through the split ring, don't grip onto this bit, have this side facing towards you, and simply slide this piece of plastic away, it'll come apart, and then you can pop it up. Try and do this one handed so it may fail quite badly. Let's see if I can uh, prop the cell phone against one of my handy little bike gloves and get a picture going to do this. Oh, don't you love the production quality of a hotel room video? Not that kind. Of dirty, dirty people. This isn't Red Tube, it's YouTube. This is not going to work. So, I've been inventive, I've got the gloves, and the thumb piece is holding the cell phone out, so here we go. Finger in the split ring, and let's just slide this top piece that way. It's clicked, as you can see it slid along a bit, let's do that again without me yapping away. Done. Lift this up like so, and I'll just pop out with a little bit of a jiggle. And you've got a nice waterproof protector, keeps your battery nice and safe. Pop it off. And there you can see you've got the battery in there. It's a CR2032. We just need to get it out of there. That's the fiddly bit. That's where you might need a screwdriver or something similar. I can get in there with a fingernail. And they're not that long. Maybe a bit too much, but there it comes. Lots of drop-in. Because I'm not very well organised, but basically around four or five pounds from a supermarket. That's probably what, six dollars for a pair. And it's just the empty cavity. Remember to put it the same way up with the writing on the top, plain side on the bottom. Poke it in, give it a little push. There's no clicks, just goes in. Get your nice little rubber seal. Remember it was that side up, that side down. It's easy to tell the difference, so you can get it in first time. Give it a little push, make sure it's seated home. Turn your key again, get it to just sit there nicely, no pressure to get it there, and then just a little downward pressure, slide it up with a little push, and it's home again, done. Ready to put in your pocket, have your bike jacket, and forget it for another year, until you're stranded out in the middle of nowhere. And you've forgotten your pin and the battery's gone flat again. Happy days. There you go.